Show me how. Okay, here's another tile floor. And what I'm gonna do is show you how to lay out a staggered pattern. Okay, so on a staggered pattern, it's not as hard as a square pattern. Uh, what you still need to do whenever you do tile is you need to, again, focus on the high spot. And you wanna take your measurement off the high spot so when you start setting your tile, if you're not gonna start on the high spot, you factored in on the low spot, you've added to what the gauge of your tile is gonna be plus your thin set, and then the difference if it's lower. If it's higher, then you don't have to worry about it because you're starting on the high spot, only if it's lower. Okay, now this, entire area right here is the high spot over here i'm hoping you can see me over here and this is only uh 51 and a half inches or thereabouts wide the bathroom uh this is a little bit lower so what you can do is you can float it up a little bit use a couple nickels some thin uh some hardy backer to get your level and then go from there or pack underneath the uh Stone. So what I'm going to do is, since this is a high spot, I, I don't have to shim up. I can go. So what we're going to do is focus on the layout. Staggered pattern, like a brick pattern, okay? I hope you can see me all right. Um, I'm going to check that real quick. Okay, so I think you're okay. Um, and what I'll do is I'll try to get back here a little bit so you can see okay so the main concern is on a brick pattern which is basically just a linear it's a line still what you want to do is you can see here how you're you're not 100% straight okay so this wall here is going that way uh, we can ascertain that by doing this. Uh, it's going to be a little bit tough to do because the other bathroom's got a jog out. So I have oh, almost 53 and a half here. And let me see over here. accurate yeah 53 a little bit a little bit less but you can see if I show you here it's taken off this way so you really want to focus there staying more in line with this part of the wall okay I mean there, there theoretically is a little bit of a bump here Point being, you're going to want to come off the high spot, which is right about here, okay? The high spot in the wall, even though it's vertical, or the most narrow point. That's where you're going to want to pull off of for, uh, actually, I'm sorry, you're going to, have to, you're going to want to pull off the widest part, not the narrowest, when you're factoring and running your lines of tile. So the tiles, these tiles are one foot, okay, by two foot. And they're actually a little bit less than that, which usually they are. They're 11 and three quarter. So if you come off of here at 11 and three quarter, you may not have enough room over here for your molding to cover if it's a really bad uh, uh, wave in your wall. Okay, this one is not that bad, so I think it's good to go if I was to butt this tile right up to this high spot, which is right here. Okay, but you can see, okay, you can see what's happening here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to know 
that I can't go any far past this or I'm going to have a bigger gap down here. Okay. Now what I can do is use this level as a straight edge, which I don't really like to do. It's a great level, but I'm going to do this just to show you. Out. I want you viewers to take notice of this. Okay. You can see there's already going to be coming a gap over here. But what I'm going to do is go to the other side. And it might be a little narrow. So stay, stay focused here. light on. I've got a light here I can turn on. Maybe get this for you guys. There we go. I don't have the switch hooked up yet. Okay. Now remember, you don't want any small pieces, okay? That's what you're trying to prevent when you're tiling, really at any time, okay? You don't want any small pieces. Now, this you have to be conscious of because your patterns are staggered. Okay, so, what you're going to have to be aware of, so that's fairly small. This here is still, I've got, I've still got room to go out here. Okay. Hoping you can see that. I don't like to edit. Okay, see that? You see what's going on here. All right, try to bring it out a little bit more for you folks so I can get a little bit more into the scene here. All right, so I can still come back uh, this way a little bit if I wanted to. I'm obviously hanging over, all right, but. I don't want him too much because I don't want to lose my half here. Alright. So it's something to factor in. The back side of the wall here, if it bothers you, you can worry about it and shift everything over this way. But I've got toilet behind here. So it's going to be fairly nil, and all over in, in this section is the vanity. So you're not really going to see that, okay? Uh, again, over here, there's vanity, and on the other side of this pony wall, there is a toilet. So if you wanted to shift it over because you were going to see over here as well, then you might want to shift this this way, I'm sorry, a little bit, rip this down. Uh, you know, so you don't have small pieces over here. As it stands, the pieces on this side are going to be three and a half. It's behind the toilet and underneath this vanity, okay? So, back to what I said. Uh, if you look at this, I can shift this way, okay? As it is, I can cut here a little bit. But as I stagger these, so right now I'm going to have a small piece in there. This is an approximation, okay? So I've got room here. And right now, I've got a fairly short piece there. So if I cut a hair off here, it's gonna be a fairly good pattern, okay? So uh, I could even it out a little bit. So 
if I shift this up a little bit here, okay, um, that's going to shift this up, and I really don't want to go any further, because I'm going to lose it here. So I may even want to go back a little bit. big piece. This is relatively big. It's not a sliver. And this is relatively big. And these are both about the same size. And you can exact them. You know, that's eight and three eighths. And this is, well, I don't want to show off, folks, because this is unedited. I'm within a sixteenth of an inch, okay? If you want to take a look at that and zoom in. I'm not here to show off, okay? All right. So, but that's good. Um, that's that's pretty much pretty much pretty much what you want. And then over here, I've got 30 inches, so I'm really at about six inches in the back. So that's your layout. And what you're going to want to do is take some sort of a pencil mark and mark it up. You can look to see if it's relatively straight, and you can deal with that after, okay? What you want to do right now is just get your... What you want to do is get your piece of this way long ways uh, in the right position, okay? And out. Okay. It's really good, folks. That's because of the vent. So I'm liking this. Hopefully you're liking it. And the molding on the walls liking it. And so here's what you want to do. The reason why you can do this is because I'm standing on the high spot right now. Okay? If I wasn't standing on the high spot, it would be a problem. What I can do It's a little bit low dropping here. It's dropping down this way a little bit. It's high here, but it's hard to gauge on that because I'm on that vent. Yeah, so it's it's a bit high here too. Okay. So definitely what I'm going to want to do is start right in here, 100%, because this is a high spot. See, that's pretty good now. Did you see that? So, you can pack that up. So on this job, the first pieces you're going to want to set are these four pieces. And then these pieces here, you will shim up, okay? Not that much, obviously. Just a sliver. All right, actually this is good here. It would be just over there. And that's where you're gonna to wanna to start on this layout. I hope this has been beneficial. As it, if it has, please subscribe, disseminate, follow, comment. There's always uh, naysayers and haters and opposers. But this, this is, uh, what you're looking for, and you can check. Let me get the tape measure. I'm not sure where it fell. Where'd my tape measure go? 
by a galley. Let me get to here it is. You know what you can do? Is check off the back wall here. You see 29 and 3 quarters. But this is gonna groove. Yeah, it's uh it's within about a sixteenth of an inch. Now to verify that, to make sure it's good, do this. Now, the reason why I'm not going all the way is there's a step over here. There's a jog out because it's a plumbing wall, double-sided, so they had to add an inch and a half to it, okay, for the plumbing. Otherwise, there would have been nothing left of the wall to notch out for all the plumbing. So now, what you can do, thirty-nine and three quarter, thirty-nine and three quarter, about sixteenth off, heading this way, okay. And to re-verify that, twenty-nine and three quarter. 29 and 5 eighths, so I could hit it back this way just a hair. All right. If need be. But that's basically your line. Okay. Relatively easy, easy layout, but you want to take the time to lay it out. It's all on the layout. Now obviously I have a jog here, so that's not good, okay? I'm gonna wanna go on this line. And that's okay, because I'm fully aware of that. So, show me how it doesn't get tricked. Show me how it's been doing this way too long. Okay, there you go. That's it. So I would do these, these right here, these tops. And then so once you place your dents at, okay, so you don't have a mess going all over, but you're gonna wanna this is it right here. You're gonna wanna set right in here. Four tiles. Okay, there you go, folks. Thank you. I hope it's been beneficial for you. Okay, we'll have more to come. Thank you for uh, subscribing, following, etc., commenting. Thank you.